Hello, my name is Idalia Garcia of National University of Mexico. We are presenting this work, Shadow of World Past, the book in New Spain. Soon after the Spanish conquest, New Spain became an associated kingdom of the Spanish Empire, a political conglomerate including the southern part of the United States, Mexico, Central America, and the Philippines. The specificity of New Spain expressed itself in different ways and with its own characteristic. The typographic press was no different, determined especially by the cultural and social background. However, these particularities, the typographic press has not been studied. That is probably because the principal research line is direct toward the 16th century print related with colonial significant printers, like Juan Pablos, Pedro Valli, or Bernardo Calderón. The first book published in America are considered the most important, and for this reason, there are named Mexican incunabula. Also, the research emphasis difference between those books and the European production of the time. This appraisal forget that the printing press arrived in 1539, almost 100 years after its invention. This tendency necessarily affects the valuation of the books produced during the colonial period. From this perspective, we can observe that one characteristic of the actual bibliographical knowledge in Mexico is the absence of the book's materiality. This situation also impacts historical knowledge. In fact, the object had never been analyzed in every part of its structure after the time of the great bibliographic repertoire, as for example in the work of García Casbalceta or Toribio Medina. For some reason, the study of the first book never considered the importance of comparing the specimens present of the same edition. If we make this work and we contrast the book produced in the 16th century in Mexico and Spain, we can find many similar aspects between the two products. The similarity is seen in the structure, which is derived from process of manual production and the place of the printing laws. This should not be strange because all these printers were Europeans and they produced books for a public from the same territory. Only into the next century a new audience will be given for the book production. These objects acquire distinctive characteristics that reflect cultural, social and economic values of the society in New Spain. The social values also live in typographic workshop but this space is one of the hollow in our past. Today, we have few information about how worked the commercial network or consumable like papers, type and ink. The same occurs with the book commerce in and out New Spain and Europe. We don't know too much about the history of the men who did their books. There are few studies of the printers and their workshop mostly of the 16th century. The same happened with the journeyman printing and their professional development, not to mention their families or their knowledge transmission by members of the same guy. The interfars printers had stories of business success, except Cornelio Adriano Cesar, who had serious problems with the Inquisition. Because of this situation, he had never been able to mount his workshop with the present material he had brought from Europe. Other tendencies in the studies 
are based in assertions made on secondary source. Therefore, many documents and books are not considered. To solve this problem, we must establish how the bibliographic production was made in New Spain, especially those books in which we can appreciate the Hispanic norm by which they were produced. Book must be the study in relation with the revision of the documentation that show the different facets of the cultural writings. Undoubtedly, the data we recollect will show how the New Spain book were done in the line proposed by the Spanish Crown. For this condition, book acquired their specific materiality and distinguished themselves from the Spanish North. Even though the form of production and types of law had the same condition in both territories, the material results are different. What are the reasons for this peculiarity? Although we don't know how was the complete process for printing a book in New Spain. It is important to underline that this norm never shined until the credit score in 1812. Mexico, as an independent nation, has a novel tradition in bibliographical knowledge that we can follow since the 18th century. It is regrettable that this tradition was lost after 1960. Consequently, the analysis of the book, like material object, stopped for not having any interest. In addition, we have to consider the poor situation of inventory of the rare books in all the country. Fortunately, some institutions have made significant progress in their own catalogs. It is possible to consider using conjunctly this instrument in the future, but for now, we don't know for sure if some books in one institution are the same as specimens in another different institution. We are confronted to a complete universe of historical source that need to be reconsidered and several other reported. The most important problem in this argument is to understand the place of the book and their impact in the society of New Spain, but also to know how work it the market price of the book, both new and used. It is important to understand the relationship between this price and the cost of production because the book had a controlled price by the Spanish crown. Other aspect is the number of production and if this was exclusively for local trade. This point, in part, explains the terms and forms of the bibliographic production. For example, the important number of texts dedicated to preaching and learning of indigenous language. Indeed, 
This consideration can be related to the study of colonial libraries, private and institutional, because the documents testify the circulation of locally printed books. New perspectives in the study of book history are pertinent right now to contribute to the evaluation of the bibliographic legacy and especially for understanding the rich cultural life of New Spain. In this context, the books, like other cultural objects, were crucial in the construction of prejudices and dreams, thoughts and ideas, and so on. Two main objectives are pursued here. One, to improve cultural studies of our past, and two, to recover the importance of book, materiality, and original documents. In order to obtain this information, we need to establish a collaborative dialogue between disciplines like history and information studies. One reality of the study presented here seems fairly optimistic, but we believe that in some years we can change these tendencies and wrong appreciation of the history of the book in New Spain. Certainly, there are a lot of work to do in libraries and archives, and sooner or later, we are going to start. Thank you very much for your kind attention.